Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I went to church because I go on Saturday night and there was a there was um, my brother Joe was there and his wife and I wanted to say something to one of my now I'm gonna be I am your great aunt. I'm pretty old, huh? <laughs> it sounds old. I'm your great aunt because I'm your daddy's aunt. And I'm your grandpa's sister. Wow. That's a change. Do you understand? Let me see if I if he's in there. Are you in there? Hmm. <gasps> Jacob, you are there. Hello, Jacob. I just saw your grandpa today and your grandma. I saw them. And, um, you know, I wanted to ask you, have you ever had the chicken pox? Do kids get the chicken pox anymore? I often wondered if they do. I have a story I want to tell you, but I'm going to put the mirror down. You can sit and listen. I know you're there. So you just sit and listen, and I'll tell you the story about your, um, they would be your, second cousin or cousin once removed I don't know how they do it but it's your daddy's cousin so it's them so I'll tell you I'm gonna put the mirror down but you stay put don't you dare move you stay right there yeah, that's right sit down sit down that's right okay here's the story okay a long time ago and now it's really a long time ago because they're 38 37, 30 37, something. 38. Yeah, they're they're pretty old. You're probably, I don't even know how old you are. Hmm. I don't know. No. You're maybe, no. no. I don't think he's that old. Uh, Jacob, Jacob, you'll have to tell me how old you are. I forgot. Okay. Well, anyways, a long time ago when, when your uncle, great uncle, this is now, no, no. No, they would be no, cousin. I, they're not an uncle. Yeah, that's right, cousin. They're not the uncle. I'm the aunt. <laughs> I'm the great aunt. <laughs> it gets confusing when you get to the older people. Well, anyways, Jacob, your cousin, Jessica and Michael, they had the chicken pox. And they were loaded. So loaded that calamine lotion, they used to say put calamine lotion on and that'll stop the itch or give them a oatmeal bath and that'll stop the itch. Well, nothing was stopping the itch and they had it really bad. They had it on the palms of their hands, in their scalps, on the bottoms of their feet, in between their toes, in their ears. They had it everywhere. So I thought, well, I need to get some hydrocortisone cream because that will help stop the itch and I could put it on each little blister even though there was millions of them. But there was a snowstorm, a really bad snowstorm. And I thought, how am I gonna go one mile to the store to get the medicine? I can't take Michael and Jessica out because they've got the chicken pox. You don't wanna take them out in that cold, frigid, freezing, cold, blizzardy weather. And you can't take kids out with chicken pox all over them. Somebody would say, what are they doing out of the house? So, you know what I did? You have um, your great-grandma. Now, that was great-grandma, Mama Bertha. I had Jessica call her. So, because Jessica liked to call her. And every time she'd get on the phone, she'd say, Hi, Mama, can I come over? Well, this time she knew she couldn't go over. But she was to talk to Mama on the phone. So, she was, and that, do you know what a phone is? I mean the ones that are in the house, not the one that Papa or Grandpa carries on his in his pocket or wherever he carries it. Not that one. The phone that looks like a phone, you know, the kind that have. I don't even. I should have, should have had one here. Well, anyways, they had to talk on the phone, and they had to stay. And Jessica had to talk and talk and talk until I got back home because. What I was going to do is I was going to go to the store, and it was called Owens's. It was the store. It was a corner store. And they used to sell um, everything under the sun there, along with milkshakes and soda pops, soda drinks, soda fountain drinks, or whatever. They used to put ice cream with the things. I don't know what they were. I, I guess. Soda, fountain. soda fountain drinks, yeah. It was a, it was a nice little corner store. 
And um, I had to go there to get the medicine. But I didn't dare leave Michael and Jessica alone home alone. What if something happened to me when I was out there in that snowy weather trying to get their medicine? I was only going a mile, but still a mile. I had to go in the storm. So Jessica stayed on the phone with my mom and she talked and talked and talked and she was not to hang up until I got back home. And when I got back home, there she is talking on the phone and then she looks up at me with her big, 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 big eyes. She's got really big eyes. And she says, can I go to Mama Bertha's house? And I go, no, we're not going to Mama Bertha's house. And I put the hydrocortisone cream on her on every spot. And that helped stop the itch. And they healed up. But I don't know. Do you, did you, did you get, have to get the chicken pox shot? They give those out now. Where they didn't have that at the time. Kids didn't have the chicken pox shot. And you know, Emily... And she's, she's another one of your cousins. Took her 10 years to get the chicken pox. And she ended up catching it from somebody that had the chicken pox shot. They got a couple little blisters and then she got the chicken pox, which was good because we wanted her to get the chicken pox so that they'd get done and over with. A lot of the childhood illnesses people don't get anymore. You don't get the measles. I had the measles. You don't get the mumps, you don't get the mumps. If you get the mumps, they'll quarantine your house. They won't let you in and they won't let anybody out. And so, and we didn't, we never had whooping cough because you got the shot, the pertussis, I guess they call it. I don't know what they called it, but we all got a shot. And today, kids get more shots than I got, but I had the illnesses. I had the mumps, measles, and chicken pox. And then I had the fifth X, fifth disease. I had the 6X rash. Oh my goodness. There were so many things that we had that you will never, never know about. I have an old book that would tell about it. Well, Jacob, that was my story. I'll see. Are you still there? Oh, you are. Hi. <laughs> you make me so happy. You know what? I was looking for Farmer G and it was in your tent. I thought he'd be in your tent. Your tent, your tent that was down the field, you know, you and your daddy were um, camping, but nobody was there when I went looking. And I was yelling my head off looking for Farmer G. Couldn't find him. I thought, sure, he'd be in the tent or using the outhouse or one of those things, but he didn't. He didn't. So, but I was glad you had your tent there just in case he needed it. And he turned himself in. He, he apologized. And the whole thing is all done. The whole... It was a story. It was like another story, but this story was going on and on and on. And who knew how it was going to end? Because, you know, it's like the books that you can turn upside down and you read it one side and it tells you one story. And then you flip the book the other way and you read another story and it tells you a different story. Or you choose A or B, which direction do you want to go? And then that tells you what page to turn to. I don't know if you've ever read any of those books. They're kind of fun because you, it's a different ending every time. Because depending on which, which one you took, which path you, which path you took, yeah. Uncle Jim's helping, or great Uncle Jim. He's great. Uncle Jim was helping me. <laughs> That's so funny. We're greats. We are great. We're as great as they come. <laughs> well, anyways, do I have anything in my teeth? Can you tell? No. Okay. Mm. You know, I found the picture where I had braces on my teeth. Someday I'll have to show you. I had those old braces, not the new ones where they glue to the front. Mine were the whole thing that went all the way around your tooth. I was, you know, when they used to call people tinsel mouth, we were really tinseled. We were silver everywhere. Well, I guess that's it for today, Jacob. Oh, I should say goodbye. So, um, I hope you have a good night. Don't stay up too late. It's kind of early still for me, but it might be late for you. I used to go to bed at 7.30 when I was your age. I don't know what time you go to bed, but 7.30 was my bedtime. So I will talk to you again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye, Jacob. Bye, everybody else. <laughs> Bye.